When a sentence has one independent clause and at least one dependent clause, it is a complex sentence. Learning to recognize and write complex sentences can make your reading more interesting and your writing sparkle. In writing, entire ideas expressed using a noun and verb, a subject and predicate, create independent clauses. Here is a wonderful succession of simple sentences, each an independent clause, from Franz Kafka's Metamorphosis. In the midst of getting out of bed, just have patience for a short moment. Things are not going so well as I thought, but things are all right. Dependent clauses also have the noun and verb but fail to express a complete thought. In these sentences penned by Kafka, the dependent clauses are underlined. No matter how hard he threw himself onto his right side, he always rolled again onto his back. If I were to try that with my boss, I'd be thrown out on the spot. If all Kafka had written was, no matter how hard he threw himself onto his right side, you would have no idea what was happening to the character. Or, if I were to try that with my boss, with nothing following it, you would not understand the meaning. Dependent clauses are linked to independent clauses with subordinating conjunctions. These are words that couple the two clauses together. In many cases, these subordinating words come after the independent clause and just before the dependent clause. But that would be extremely embarrassing and suspicious, because during his five years' service, Gregor hadn't been sick even once. Many, many words operate as subordinating conjunctions. They often cluster around concepts like comparisons, time, relationships, concessions, exceptions, and conditions. Dozens and dozens of words and phrases can serve to join the dependent clause to the independent clause. By joining the independent clause, the subordinating conjunction, and the dependent clause together, you craft a complex sentence. When studying other writers' works, you recognize the complex sentence by seeing all three elements. Keep in mind, the subordinating conjunction can be anywhere in the sentence, though it almost always precedes the dependent clause. Many writers, Kafka included, prefer to put their subordinating conjunctions at the front end of a complex sentence, leaving a comma to link the leading dependent clause and the trailing independent clause. Some writers start with independent clauses and link these verbal powerhouses to dependent clauses with subordinating conjunctions. Complex sentences are necessarily wordy since they require at least three parts, independent clause, subordinating conjunction, and a dependent clause or clauses. Keep in mind, several dependent clauses can spin out from the independent clause, leading to very long sentences. In addition to subordinating conjunctions, complex sentences can use three types of subordinating clauses, adjective clause, noun clause, and adverb clause. These take the place of adjectives, nouns, and adverbs. A tongue-in-cheek example is the golden rule which facetiously says, whoever has the gold makes the rules. The noun phrase, whoever has the gold, serves as a dependent clause to the independent clause, the entire sentence. Examples of adjective clauses working as dependent clauses in complex sentences might be, the thief who had taken the pony was found guilty by the jury. The apartment that felt drafty even in spring needed remodeling. Examples of noun clauses working as dependent clauses in complex sentences might be Whoever added the eraser to a pencil was very clever. While on vacation, we can do whatever we like. Examples of adverb clauses working as dependent clauses in complex sentences might be Although we played well, we lost the baseball game. Players, when they are disappointed, sometimes throw sports equipment. Check out the last few sections of the lesson below to review the four types of sentences and learn some of the warning flags to look out for when working with complex sentences.